We'll wait for the espresso to stop, I guess. Oh, yeah. Espresso yourself. Oh, hey, everybody. Welcome to Soul Food Books on a Saturday night tonight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm super happy to be here tonight. And um, my name is Val D'Alessio, and these are my friends. <laughs> we are friends. Yay, friends. Um, this is Alicia Healy. I may be stretching it, friends. Oh, oh. Really? Oh, oh. no! I am at Soul Foods Books. I'll yeah. tell you that. Yes, you are. <laughs> Stay on my good side, sister. <laughs> and she's going to be harmonizing, percussing, bass playing, and if you stick around for the second set, you're going to be graced with a whole set of Alicia Healy music. So, um, and then over on my left, Mr. Phil Sapile, all the way from Bellingham, Washington, city of subdued excitement. Mr. Phil. And we're going to start it off with what I call a hillbilly soap popper. This is a Bonnie Raitt <laughs> tune called Papa Come Quick. Since morning, she cried right through as the world turned. Seen it myself, and Papa, it's a bitch. Let's all ask before the baby gets burned. Stuff will make you hurt yourself. Say, Papa, come quick. Papa, come quick. Say, Papa, come quick. Papa, come quick. Say, Papa, come quick. Jody's gone to the city. What are we going to do now that Jody's gone? She left a note on that TV and Papa, it's a pity. What are we going to do now that Jody's gone?
Jody and Chico. <laughs> This one's called Roll with the River. You ready, Philly? Okay. One. You want, are we yeah. going to all end at the same time? <laughs> Count along. One, two,
How's it sounding out there? Sounding okay? All right, thank you. Oh. Party at Soul Foods. I love this place. So here's a song I wrote. It's just about that. Uh, find my groove here. It's about the feeling you get when you're doing something you always, always wanted to do. And the feeling that you get as you're on that journey. And it doesn't kind of, it doesn't even really matter if you get there. It's just the joy of the journey and how good it feels when you're going. Because you know you're going in the right direction. And you follow your heart. It's called Late Night Song. Deepest dream in your longest journey. You know you've arrived because it's in the journey. And somehow now, I feel closer tonight. To this late night song, I know moving up the path, baby.
You're so quiet over there, Alicia. <laughs> never good. <laughs> never good. Tell me how fast my voice is. I don't know yet. Here, remind me the song. What's that? Remind me the song. It's called Right on Time. So I'm one of these people who think I tend to, to move a little slow in life. But, um, you know, like, for example, I didn't start writing songs. I played music my whole life, but I didn't start writing songs till I was 33, probably 33 and a third <laughs> in Bellingham, Washington, of all places. Yeah, that was the right year then. It, it was the right year. I was living in this old, uh, these... Uh, cabins built in the 20s known as the Lumpy Dumps, and I lived in Lumpy Dump number 11, nice. formerly lived in by the Blues Daddy, Daddy Treetops. It was just a great place to, to s inspire creative juices and kind of thing. And um, I was playing in a band called Men Without Pants. <laughs> playing on the side, I was doing these little, uh, you know, lead, lead noodles. Not nearly as beautifully as what you're doing up here, Phil, but um, I was doing it my own way, and um, it just occurred to me that I just wanted to start expressing myself, my songs, and get start um, honoring that part of me. And so I just sat in Lumpy Dump number 11, <laughs> and I decided, I'm going, God damn it, I want to learn to write songs. I want to write songs. And I did. I wrote my whole first album, Home Highways and Bad Hair Days, in Lumpy Dump number 11, nice. which is... <laughs> <laughs> Yay for Lumpy Dump. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I know, that we just breezed over the Men Without Pants thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, such a great band. But um, name. I'll have to come back to that, <laughs> Phil. I know, such a great name. When I joined, they didn't want, they wanted to change their name. Yeah. But uh, I wasn't uh, having it, man. That's the best name ever. <laughs> and uh, anyway, so a long way to go about saying that I, th I thought, God, you know, God, that took me a long time to start writing those songs. But when I write songs, it's more about um, I find out not so much what I think but what I know. And what I know is that I'm always right on time. <laughs> and so is everybody else in this room in their own time. So this is called Right on Time. And Alicia, will you kick off this rhythmic I don't know how fast you want to take it, but let's try. I was late coming in to this world So my mama told me but I am not sure I think I was slow when I first went to school and I believe that First love did not come in the spring. It would not 
be the same if it were sooner. Now I don't call myself a late bloomer, cause I'm right on time. Sitting high, right on time. Every time, right on time, right on time. the sweet tender age of 33 and a third I learned to write my own songs and now I'm free I got so much to say Thank you. I used to be in a bluegrass band in college, and when it was time to finish this solo, we'd always go like that with our legs, you know, with this, this, the, I don't know, it's funny. <laughs> it was funny at the time, although we were serious at the time. <laughs> From bluegrass to the men without pants, it's a stretch, pants. Actually, when I played with Men Without Pants, I had these white pants, and they had these um, kind of vent these holes for decorative effect. And I used to call them uh, Men Without Pants and Girl with Partial Pants. No, no, it has a, a long winded ring. That's the Sunday show. song um, I know we have songwriters out there right now and um, this is the kind of song mm -hmm. you write in fif in 15 minutes and sing forever but <laughs> you can probably tell I wrote it in 15 minutes but it's called ain't nothing like a trip
All right, Ann Pfizer's here. The party's regenerating even. Say. <laughs> going to be playing again at the last Saturday of this month in the other side of town, um, the far west at Egan's in Ballard, if you're around Saturday night. Um, it's one of my second favorite venues in the greater Seattle area. So. <laughs> So you heard the expression, don't get your hopes up. This is called, get your hopes up. Because we are at Soul Food Books, after all. told better to keep your heart Hopes up, now get up a high. 
All right, we'd like to take it down a little bit here. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> and never bring you back up. This is where you're staying. Um, who planned this set list? <laughs> oh, yeah, it wasn't me. So, Alicia Healy, switching off to the bass, do you have any fine shows coming up? Well, I'm playing at Egan's with <laughs> Val D'Alessio <laughs> at the end of the month. Right answer. <laughs> That's Saturday. I believe Phil's going to be there. <laughs> no, this is my highlight. I'm really excited about the next set. You have to stay because I get to play then. <laughs> and you have to stay. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's the only show I have this winter. So <laughs> She's got a ton of shows lined up. Um, so there's a word, call word called an affable. And what it means is, uh, this is what I think it means. It's too big for Scrabble. So I it's too big for Scrabble. <laughs> All right, I'm getting deep in the air here. And <laughs> effable is that there aren't really words to, 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 to describe what you're trying to say. Like, kind of like now. I'm She's not going to invite us ever to play. Oh, again. yes, I am. And right now, um, so, <laughs> so this song was kind of hard to write words to. It's called When Words Escape Me. But <laughs> There's a place where my words won't reach I try to talk but I cannot speak There's a beauty that rises so deep I try to catch the phrase but I can never reach
Thank you so much. All right. Wow, now for another move change. It's funny when you plan your set list out at home, you, yeah, and then you, you never know what's going to happen out there. Uh, but I think I'm going to just go with what I decided next. So um, <laughs> hold on, I have a prop for this one. Oh yeah, I wanted to wear a big honkin' hat for this occasion. So uh, I want to do a little bit of a, um, first of all, I'm so, so um, happy to see everybody. I'm so pleased that you're uh, joining us in this experience tonight. I'm so glad you're here. And uh, yay. yay, I love you all very much too. <laughs> um, so anyway, so I want to do a little public service announcement a chance for a little audience participation. And uh, Phil, can you give me a little um, kind of patriarchal kind of... <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, I would say that there's, a, there's something going on out there. About, I'd say, three out of 100 musicians almost starve every year. And I think the reason why this widespread thing that's happening is because, <laughs> is that shortening bread? <laughs> I think it's just because we're too damn scared to pass the hat or too damn, feel too damn funny about pass, plugging the tip jar or passing the hat. And uh, this year, instead of taking the age old vow of poverty, I took the vow of prosperity. I see some of you else, some, some of you other people did as well. Yes, vow of prosperity and that, and in that, you know that money really is just a flow. It's just an exchange of energy, in and out, in and out. But this song is to help me to remember to let it in and also to pass the hat, the big honking hat. So, and uh, the old tradition, Greenwich Village folk tradition, we're gonna pass this hat around and give you a chance to participate in the audience or pass it on if you wish. Here we go. Mr. Phil Satile on the short and bread sounding too. Okay. So here's a little song that goes with this. It's called Pass the Hat. And I want to thank Soul Food Books, too, for supporting live music and for generating live music and community as well. the hat I really don't like it doing that the starving artist is on a fast don't get no money if you don't ask you pour your heart out when it comes back let it in let it in give it back This song and keep it light when it comes to money I get so uptight lifetimes of service was sacrifice could I deserve this could it be right when it comes so easy could it ever last let it Breathe it in, breathe it out, well, there is no end. 
oxygen breathe it in breathe it out why should there be doubt such a natural laugh to pass the hat passing the buck has got a brand new ring If it gets weird, I got a song to sing. Don't think too much, I'll forget what I know. When it comes to money, it's about the flow. Let it be easy, such a natural lack. Let it in, let it in, get it back. And pass the hat. Pass the hat. so much more than enough yeah there's more than that past the hat it's a flow let it go it's a natural lack past the hat so past the We got two more to do for you uh, for you tonight, but I want to thank again Mr. Phil Satile, all the way from Bellingham. Doesn't he play beautifully? <laughs> and Alicia Healy, you're going to keep hearing more and more from. You don't play so beautifully. <laughs> thank you. Alicia is also the uh, producer engineer of my two CDs. Um, <laughs> You know any knock-knock jokes, Loy? Guess not. Darkness comes to choice. Speak a little louder. 
When you speak your heart, you might find you say much more than when you just speak your mind. So listen all the time inside me, know the way. Safe to come up now, safe to say. I was channeling Clint McClune, who owns Soul Food Books, on the uh, drums there. I don't know if you heard it. <laughs> but um, he's always saying, let your light shine. So I always, I always think of him when I sing that song when I'm here. So I, um, He's doing another gig at the Zorka Coffee House here in Kirkland, helping, Zo is it Zorka? The Zorka, inspiring more musical community on the east side. So, so um, got one more tonight and to do for you and this is one that I wrote in Bellingham and Lumpy Dump number 11 too. <laughs> That's where I actually met Phil I could think at least 12 years ago at a musical soiree party. You weren't there? Oh, uh, no, it wasn't, no, the lump, that would have been very cozy to have a big party in Lumpy Dump number 11, very small. It's called Home Highways and Bad Hair Days. Thank you so much for listening. Alicia Healy's up next, so please, you want to stick around for that. So. Please. Thank you. 
you so much. My name is Val D'Alessio, Bill Satile, Alicia Healy. <laughs> We're going to take a short intermission and change the players. All right. Just like you and me, babe I go and mess it up this bed Don't let that get you feeling low Know that I ain't feeling safe So just turn your back Walk away and let me walk away from you can be your faith and you keep on loving me blue Well you said that she was sorry For all those things you done before Well I'm sorry that I have to say I just don't cut it anymore So just turn your back And walk away in Let me walk away from you I can't be your fate And you keep on loving me And I'm high You love me blue. I'm high in high. All your grand illusions have been falling to the floor. And that's just the way my heart went low. And I just walk down through. You love me blue I'm high in high I'm high in high I'm high in high I'm high in high I'm high Where the birds outside my window sing their love songs through the spring Is the sunlight filter soft and red through scattered leaves of trees And I've been thinking to myself, like I've been thinking for so long Is there any point in living when love is come and gone? Ooh. 
And the moonlit streets, the shadows dance, the dirges in the dark. Is the midnight queen with velvet feet drinks lightning from the stars, and still I can't find no distractions in the sirens or their song. Is the honey points in living when love is come and gone? If I treated my forever, my everlasting bliss, could I sing in a ship to yesterday and greet you with a kiss? Cause I have never known forever, but their yesterday is love. Is there any point in living when love is gone and gone? Across my eye, and I sang it in the evening through the darkness and the dawn. Is there any points in living when love has come and gone? If I treated my forever, my everlasting bliss, could I stay in a ship to yesterday? She was so young, I was such a fool To think the dead would last forever To think the dead would outlast you But you were so much smarter You left me like before I tell you I'm not better And I ain't gonna cry no more Because you're gonna do what you do, babe I'm gonna go my way It's likely now it's over, oh But I ain't gonna say Because I meant every word I said I said it in my blood I give you what you needed But she wanted more than love Sweet love Well, she drank a glass for me I watched her from above It didn't turn out that way And she left with the pretty drunk Well, they were happy well it lasted the dance away the shame When she came to I was gonna live with the poison of her pain And I said, you're gonna do what you do, babe I'm gonna go my way It's likely now it's over, oh But I ain't gonna say Because I meant every word I said I said it in my blood I give you what you needed But she wanted more than love And now all the things you fear Are raining down on me Take the hit from you, but I won't drown in your sea 
You can, I can even stand a little less of guitar on stage. Not less, much less, but check one, two. Good evening. Will you help me thank the incredible Val D'Alessio? She's always wonderful to play with. Mostly because in the middle of the show, when she looks at me, I'm not quite sure what the look means. I don't know if it's, that was so cool, or I do not believe you did that. I always think she's like this close, maybe this close to not inviting me back to play with her. <laughs> songs for you. This is a relatively new one. the good book on 
on every page your reason to carry on they call out from a tv crying for her help she gives it all everything until it's gone her heart can take a beating she can get back on track but it was touch and go there with the wall against her back so give her a signal maybe a nod of your hand perhaps a wink to tell her in a purse for things that she don't need cause it's even with the Lord a good deal's hard to find it's hard to Thank you so much. Sound like we were having some overdrive problems. Kind of liked it. So Pettiest songs I have ever written. It's 11:57. I'm still waiting for your call. A bitch about old girlfriends, work hard spots and all. She broke my heart. They stole my steam. Not really what it seems to seem. I'll only wait for you till noon. Cause the bottom's gone. was fine, but I lied, and as comforting as your words are, I still wake up
Thank you. That was called 1157. And actually, the person who inspired that song is here tonight. I wasn't really that mad. <laughs> but this next song, I think the person really was mad. Thank you.
loves Val's music. It's so positive. <laughs> I mean, good messages. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> and I have two that have positive messages. And since I'm at Soul Food Book, I'm going to play one for you. And I will say that I did not write it of my own free will. Uh, somebody commissioned me. I said, we need a happy song, Leisha. I said, all right. So I wrote this actually for Amara, Amara for, uh, Fostering and Adoption Services. They're a fantastic organization. And I was honored to write this. It's called Fly the Moon. Long away far ago, I finally found what I had to know. So I redefine the sun. Sometimes red, sometimes gold, sometimes warm, sometimes cold. But far Several stars and planets above, and I knew that I was here for you to fly the moon. Can a dream come true? Thank you. All right, back to the real program. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be a good song. Come on. Can't go wrong with a minor key. Come on. Even a half step higher. Still kind of ominous. Could be scary. Just mean. It's called Do Something. Do something, lie, cheat, or steal. Do something. So I know that you're real. Do something to make me believe. I ran a mile just to touch your face. I ran it back. Keep my place in the regular unknown, sweet, safe, serene. Cause the years roll by and ain't nothing changed. You and our tag team taking the blame. Promise the best, prepare for the worst. 
dead stupid plan a living curse do something though nothing is wrong do something though we both still belong to something that won't go away aching my heart a burr in my brain every day begins and ends Tag team taking the blame, promise the best, prepare for the worst. A dead, stupid plan, a living curse. Broken keys and broken dreams and mad adventures. Never tried, we're standing still, the swirling swill. Gotta wonder if we'd do better if we left it, we died. Catching normal, never shaking it all. Wondering what to do at the bottom and top. Never getting better each day like today. Working so hard to keep it that way. Do something, come stay or leave. Do something, just do it to me. Make me believe. Do something. Lie, cheat, or steal. Do something. So I know that you're real. Do something. To make me believe. Do something. To make me believe. Let's make believe. That we got something. I'm singing in the shower these days. I usually don't have my guitar in my shower. So I'm faking this part of it. The singing part's really pretty. Wait for it. Blue sky Smiling Nothing but blue sky do I see. Nothing but blue skies from now on. Nothing but blue skies from now on. Now you've been in my shower kind of how it goes. My showers are long. 
to take everything real slow. Here's a, a end of a love song. This is called Cheese. Exactly. I took a week, maybe two, to figure out what to say to you. Not a lie, but not quite the truth. To figure it out is what we're going to do. We're going to drink till we're drunk. Eat too much cheese. Talk about it all, at least till you see. After all, can't complain too much. I forgot your brand and your touch. You've been slipping away for quite some time. I lost you between subpar and sublime. Tipsy, you flirted with your new friend. That didn't worry much, cause we'd love to the end. But did you think of me as she rolled on the floor? And my joke we had laughed at hours before. say to you, not a lie, but not quite the truth, here's what we're going to do. We're going to drink till we're drunk, eat too much cheers, talk about it all, at least till you see. You won't cry, you won't shout by the end of tonight, you'll beg to get out. If any of you need a breakup song, you can buy that one. So this next song, I was so pleased when I wrote it. Like Val said, it was one of those that came in like 15 minutes, and I was just so pleased by it because I thought I had really captured that kind of tentative place where you think you've really made a connection s with someone, and it feels good, it feels real, but you're never quite sh you're not quite sure. And uh, so I so I wrote it, and I really liked it, and I played it for a while, and I realized um, I just wrote a stocking song. That's what that was. answer should be no. <laughs> but the song goes on. I wrote it. Here's a 
is it all right if I follow you? Is it all right if I care? Will you turn and laugh at me? Or might you try? Thank you so much. What time are we at, Sandy? Quarter 10. Because that stalker song reminded me of another song. scary thing it's like I thought that was a nice song and it's really a stalker song it's kind of like this song you are my sunshine my only sunshine you make me happy when skies are gray you'll never know how much I love you please don't take my sunshine away we're te teaching kids that do you guys know what the other verses go? Here's what it goes. These are real. The other night, dear, and silently sleeping, I dreamt I held you in my arms. When I awoke, I was mistaken. So I hung my head and I cried. Now that's not too bad. I could have written something like that and try to, you know, say it was a happy song in the form of like, but then it gets a little weird. Oh, here it is. I'll always love you and make you happy if you would only say the same. But if you leave and love another, you'll regret.
run for school board on this mother. We're going to get this out. Yeah. You told me once you really loved me that no one else could come between. But now you've left and love another. You have shared all my dreams. And this last one, this is like where we put the oil in the basket type of stuff and boiling bunnies and shit start happening. In all my dreams, you seem to leave me. When I awake, my poor heart aches. So when you come back and you love me, I'll forgive you and take all the blame. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Make it as spooky as possible. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. teaching that to kids. I'm gonna do one more for you, thank you so much. One more cheer for Val D'Alessio, please. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her. Also, thank you, Kevin, for doing sound tonight. Took him away from work to do it. <laughs> thank you very much also for all your help. I've really had a wonderful time more than you know because some people have and I apologize for this some people have bed head I have massage head I had like a two hour massage today I didn't know how this was going to go doing pretty well we're going to finish with a, a song from one of my favorite songwriters this is a Jolene from Dolly Parton i 
choice of man, but I couldn't have a love again, he's the only one for me, Julie, if I had to have this talk with you, my happiness depends on you, whatever you decide to do, Julie. Thank you so much. My name's Alicia Healy. Hope to be back someday. Thank you very much for Soul Foods Books. Appreciate it.